You don't understand. That whole stadium was filled with people saying, what is that gold ribbon? Tell me about childhood cancer. How can I help? And so from the bottom of our hearts, I thank you. We salute you. We acknowledge your bravery and your boldness on that field and in your hearts. And we just can't say thank you enough. So God bless you. Continue with your season. I know you're going to do great. Be brave, be bold, and go, go. All right. My name is Angela Dina, and my family's world changed on May 30th, 2012. Our then four-year-old son, Charlie, had a tummy ache for a series of a few days, and what I can only tell you were God-led events led us to the Texas Children's Emergency Room near our home. That very day, we received Charlie's diagnosis. However, it was nothing we could prepare for. Stage four, high risk neuroblastoma. Charlie was given a 50% chance of survival. The life we knew was changing forever. Be tired. You know, I'd be lying if I if I told you I wasn't afraid. But I I choose not to live in fear. You know, I can't live my life like that. It, we live in a new normal. It's a completely new normal now. And there is no evidence of disease. And I live, I'm, I'm learning to live my life day by day. The depth of despair that you can be in that time and the question and the doubt and, and all of the feelings, there is nothing like the feeling of hearing that somebody survived it. And so if Charlie and our family story, if we can be the somebody that survives it to make it better for all of the children that are battling, then I can feel good about what he has walked through and what we have walked through well, to get there. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and and you know I will tell you that even going through Charlie's treatment, which began in May, that very first September, I'm not sure I was aware of that. I think that our long-term goal would be that that when you hear the word "go gold" in September, or that string of words together, that you know that that refers to childhood cancer awareness. And people just don't know that most of the funding for childhood cancer is really supported by this small group of organizations together. And really all focused and struggling with the same things. And that is, you know, the, the lack of federal funding um, for childhood cancer, the fact that it has really ridden a line before below 4% um, for the last several years is just, it's just not enough. It's not enough to advance the needle in the right direction. You know, there are organizations all over this country that have been working tirelessly for years. And I'm quite certain our organization won't be the only one of that kind. But I think that everyone sees the value in sort of elevating the platform, um, especially through athletic groups. I think athletic activism is, um, is going to be so important in what we're doing to make this a nationwide movement. Um, athletes have uh, an incredible amount of power, and I think that um, they will really uh, be amazed at how they can affect lives by, um, you know, being active in, in this idea of going gold for pediatric cancer. We have to make this um, a nationwide movement and a big splash, and we believe athletics is a way to do that. Charlie, Charlie, see if, he, see if Charlie can run the ball into the end zone uh, beyond this guy right here, okay? Charlie! Charlie, run it! Run it, run it, Charlie, end zone! Go to the end zone! Run it, run it! Charlie! 
I'm always inspired with, with young athletes. If we can get some of the message to sink in with them, um, you know, I think it will change their lives drastically. I mean, I've, I've seen it happen. I, I, I watched it happen with Johnny. Hi, Johnny Menzel. I love you. And also, can you get me five trophies, please? I love you. Bye-bye. The 2012 winner of the Heisman Memorial Trophy is Johnny Manziel. So I'd like you to show everybody here a bracelet, a rubber bracelet that you wear from the day you received it. Johnny, you've never taken it off. It says Charlie's Angels on it. I, I know other members of your family wear it as well. Um, it's something that it's kind of touched me throughout this year and, and to be up here and, and he, he loves my story and he, he fights because of what I do on the field and I'm fighting on the field for what he does. So I really look up to him and his story, something that's touched my heart for sure. The more that you can use a platform that you have um, based on God-given abilities to try and help other people, I think that's a huge, huge gift and a huge you know, blessing to be on a stage like that, to you know, share a message that you firmly believe in. We'd like to expose as many collegiate athletes to that as possible. Some of these guys will grow up and play professional sports and they will have the opportunity to be in an area where they can make a difference in this world. And we hope that they choose to make a difference towards childhood cancer. One of our um, charges as, as educators, especially at the college level, is to try to prepare our, our players for life and to try to prepare our players for the good things in life, but also for some of the tough things in life. We set goals uh, before every game and to set a, a goal to go gold this game um, is just such a cool thing for our team and I think it just brings a greater perspective and so we're going to fight just as hard on this field in honor of all those kids. Today, the 12th man stands not just for our team, but everything that our, our team stands for. And you know, this isn't just a one-day thing for, for Aggies that, that we're going to stand for the team just because of this particular event. But they're going to stand for everything that we think is the right thing to do. It's almost as if the soccer team is our 12th man. Here, we're there to support them, but we feel the reverse relationship that they're our 12th man in um, being here for us. It's just this mutually beautiful um, relationship that we're having for the common cause of, you know, raising the awareness for these children who are fighting for their lives. It's so translatable. It, what's happening with an athletic team, you know, here in Athens can happen other places. And I think modeling that um, is so key for the, for the rest of the country to see, you can do this too. You can light the building on your campus. You can hand out flyers, you can spread the word, you can fundraise, um, and these children are worth doing it. Just kind of take that step to raise the awareness because I think if we all took one step, we would be much further down this road. And we owe that, we owe that to the future. We owe that to the family that will hear those words tomorrow, your child has cancer, you know, to to see if we can make it a little better. We really do.